That's whiskey. Yes. Mate, that's whiskey. It actually has real gold inside of it. This has got real gold in it. Yes. Right, so I've just done an Instagram live. I've not filmed it because literally I'm like doing it in the middle of the street, but I've got nowhere to stay tonight. And off the Instagram live alone, loads of people have been reaching out to me. This is one guy. I messaged you on the live chat. So if you want to crash here, I do have a spare room. So I'm meeting up with a chick a little bit later on. But if I'm not here, I'll, I'll send you a video now where the key is so you can just come straight in yourself. I was going to say, because I've still got the vlog to do and stuff like that. So like I was going to say, do you mind me coming a bit later anyway? I don't mind whatsoever, you can come in wherever, whatever you want. Awesome, thank you so much for that mate, and if, yeah, if you could send me that, that'd be great. And then I'll catch up with you later. Alright, see you mate. Awesome, right. cheers mate, thanks very much. Bye mate. How awesome is that? Josh lives like 26 minutes in the sat nav away from here, that's a 26 minute walk. So he's going to send me a video of where he's going to leave me the key because he's taking some check out. So yeah, as soon as I'm done with Lewis here, Lewis will go to the hostel and I'll head over there. Right mate, this is you. Yeah. I'm going to Josh's house. Alright, awesome, see you tomorrow. Have a good one. We've got a move the car, well I say we, I've got to move the car by 8am, yeah. so can you meet me at the car yeah, at 8am? See you at 8am, dude Good you're night. a legend, I'll see you later man. And now I am on my way to Josh's, it's not too far. Right, he's just messaging me and he said he can't see me so I'm guessing he's looking out of somewhere. Is this it? Hey, how's it going mate? Thank you so much for this, nice Good. to meet you. Nice to meet you Josh, come in. Cheers Josh. Flipping it mate, this is huge. Yeah, it's pretty cool player, you need. <laughs> Do I like want alcohol? Let's get this in. Mate, how much do you drink? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Typical Australian. Uh, what is it you do in the city then, mate? So I basically just worked in the fitness industry in the tech space, so Fetish. in tech and startups. And then there was a gym franchise that took off and I was involved in that. You actually was in the startup of starting that up? Yeah, so I came on board to help them with all their technology about six gyms, and now we're about 1,300. So, so you were at that company at six gyms, and yeah. there's now 1,300. Yeah. That is impressive. So, Mate, how far does this go back? It looks small off the road. Yeah. Oh my god, so you've got a little outside area. Yeah, outside area there, great for the summer. Mate, it doesn't go back even further. Yeah, you're sleeping back here. Come back through and check it out. Happy days. Oh mate, thank you. A double bed. A real bed. A real Sunny bed. For once. It's not the back of a car. Anything's probably better than that. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Morning, finally a night sleep in a bed. Ryan, what a top guy. I'm in a massive rush to get this car, so I've ended up leaving some of my stuff at Ryan, so I'm gonna have to pop back. The time is currently 8.05 a.m. and I should have moved the car at eight, so I'm five minutes late already. I can't see her now. Can't see Lewis though. Okay, so we're all clear, no tickets. I just need Lewis to move it now. I'm just gonna sit in the car, wait for him to come. I can't see any like parking officers, so we should be good. Here he is. How's Josh? Josh was great. Mate, he is a cool guy, mate. Nice. Really cool guy. Okay, plan for today. My high school mate Gaz rang me this morning. Yeah. He lives in Sydney. He's lived here for like four years. So he's going to like jump in with us. Sure. So I don't know what the plan is with him, mate. But before we do that, I've left some stuff in Josh's. We'll swing past Josh's. I'll grab my stuff. Maybe grab a quick shower, actually. Because sure. he gave me some yeah. stuff to grab a shower. But I didn't manage to grab one. And then we'll jump in. And yeah, just see where the day takes us. Sure. No what worries. time are you flying out? My flight leaves at around 10 p.m. 10 p.m. But I'm going to try to leave there, get there at like by 8, you know. Yeah, just, just to safety. be like proper yeah. safe. Lewis is leaving today. By Australia. <laughs> going back to New York. I wish I was coming with you, mate. <laughs> Let's make a move. Yeah, so he literally lives just to the left here. If I shoot in there, maybe yeah. grab a quick shower. I'll sit in the car. One. It's all right, yeah? Yeah, no worries. Hey, I just found you a ride. Two what? possible. I just got you two possible rides. No way. From Sydney to Melbourne, way. depending on when you want to leave. Okay. So well. there's one girl who wants to go from next Wednesday. Okay. And then there's another guy who wants to go either this Sunday or Monday. Mate, so. perfect. What's the plan? Like, how do you so, find them? So Australia rides your backpackers group. Yeah. I just posted the message. I got two hits already. I connected. Check your Facebook. I just connected the two of you on. Check it now. Yeah. Mate, that's awesome. Let me yeah, get the car. Just Mate, this is awesome news. Yeah. yeah. So is this, because I added loads of group, what's the group called? It's called Australia Rideshare Backpackers. 
I think I've joined that one. The rideshare one? I think... It's specifically... Mate, I've joined about 30 of them. Happy days, mate. So, Sunday and Monday, I'll drop him a message. Yeah. That's awesome. So, his name's Bart. Did you tell him what I'm doing with the YouTube thing? No, I didn't tell anything, so... Okay, fine. Just to keep you posted, Josh knows somewhere I can park the car for free. We'll go and drive to where we can park the car for free. Yeah. Then we'll jump in the car with Gaz. Sounds great. And then we can just go wherever then. Perfect. So, perfect. Happy days. (laughs) (laughs) He's picking up on the slang. Right. We're going to this gym now, get free parking, meet Gaz, go and get some food, Bondi Beach, we'll see where the, see where the day takes us. Gareth Jones, long time no see, how are you? This is Lewis, Lewis Gaz, hey, Gaz Lewis. Nice to meet you, you, mate. This is my good friend Gareth Jones. How long have you lived in Sydney now, mate? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. How would you find the parking around here? Oh, it's tough to get parked, like. It's horrendous. It's horrendous. How long have I known you? Primary school, we didn't do nursery, did we? No, for three. So I've known Gaz since I was three. We literally grew up in the same place. Like, I'm from Rose, Gaz is from Penakai. Basically, villages in Wrexham in North Wales. We're just trying to find somewhere to eat. Oh, After you, gents. Are you happy with here, mate? Good. Let's see. Breakfast was spot on. So the plan now, we're going to go to Bondi Beach. No, we're not. Lewis. No, we're going to Kudji. Are we? I thought we were going to Bondi. You're on your laptop editing the videos. We actually decided we're going to Kudji. (laughs) Okay, Kudji. Okay, so yeah. Listen, I'm good to go with the flow. So a bit of a change of plan. While I was working, Lewis and Gaz have decided we're going to go to Kudji Beach, and then we're going to walk from Kudji to Bondi. Lewis's flight. When are you leaving, mate? So my flight's actually at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Got to be at the airport at five. Okay, so. Gaz is actually going to drive us there because if I end up driving and Lewis has got to leave, obviously the car is going to be stranded there. So I've got a good free space at the minute, so I'll just keep it there. When Lewis goes, are you all right bringing me back into the city? Oh, hell. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Cheers, mate. There could be worse places to be stranded than Bondi Beach. I would be getting out in the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah, just red traffic light, just jump out. Come on, Gaz, you're a Welsh lad. You've lived in Sydney for three years. Tell us what you think of it. Is it? It's not bad, that's all you've got to say. You got all your stuff out of the car? Yep. So you're ready just to go straight away now, yeah? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Perfect. I'm just going to be hiking the walk with everything on my back. Uh, I don't know where I'm going, side. Right, just keep I, going I know straight. straight. <laughs> Next right. Uh, Lou, are you sad to be going home, mate? I'm very sad to be going home. Are you? Do you wish you were staying out for a bit longer? Maybe you'll, at least a couple of days. Are you going to miss me? Of course. <laughs> long. I'll, I'll be coming to the UK. Definitely, mate. I don't think I've ever asked you this. You came travelling before living here, right? Why did you come travelling? I always saw on Facebook people just putting up that they were like in Australia and just looked yeah. appealing, so I thought, give that a go. And I just gave my mum a buzz, said, oh mum, thinking about doing it. And she goes, all right then. I kept on talking to her about it because I was living away from home. She yeah. just said, yeah, just get your ass in gear and just go, <laughs> go and start getting the visa. And I was like, all right, then I will. And then you came out? Yeah, just come out here. Originally planned to do a year. It's over three years later, I'm still here. No um, plans to go back to the UK then? No plans, no. So Simon, you asked me like why I come travelling, why the hell yeah. did you go travelling? Mate, Thailand. I went oh, to yeah, Thailand, Thailand to do Muay Thai. It wasn't that like random, someone just asked you to go, she asked me to come with you, but you yeah, gave me like two days notice, okay, I'm going to Thailand for a month. It's like, oh. Yeah, my mate from Lytham was going to Thailand for a month and he asked me to go with him. Okay. So I went and mate, it just changed my life. <laughs> We are in Kudji Beach. Gaz, do you literally live here? Yeah. Is this where you live? Yeah, just up the hill there. Oh my god, this is a bit of an upgrade to Wrexham, mate, I've got to say. How far do you live from the beach? Two minute walk. 
How awesome is that? Guys, I can't believe you've been here for three years and I've never visited. Oh, like the first person to visit me. Like. Seriously? Uh, one of, yeah, it's been a, oh, actually, my mum and dad come here <laughs> last year, didn't they? Nice little spot. Mate, it's a lovely spot. Do you go surfing? You can't surf here, no. You can't surf here? Well, you can, but there's not much waves, because like, the waves uh, break okay. those rocks over there. You go next beach, Chilver, a lot of people surf over there. What, Bondi? Bondi's that way, but Maroubra and Bondi. Okay. Bondi's just full of tourists. So we're going to Bondi now, though, right? Bondi, yeah. Sweet. So how far is Bondi walk from here? Normally about an hour or so, but with An you, hour walk? With you and your camera, <laughs> you'll be taking <laughs> loads of photos. It's going to be about two hours, I'd say. Two hours, fair news. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. So, so these are the fish? Yeah, so see that one there? There's a Port Jackson shark. Will that yeah. eat you, that shark? No, it's not bigger than it. Well, What's yeah, that, a blue ringed octopus? So that there, the blue ringed octopus. Yeah. It's like one of those poisonous animals. Really? After seeing the fish that live in this bay, I don't recommend going swimming in Coogee Beach. So we're just doing a walk from Coogee Beach to Bondi. What's this place called? Gordon's Bay. Gordon's Bay. Mate, that's pretty cool. Like a little private beach. As I'm walking along here, it's just dawned on me that, you know, I am still on the challenge and I haven't really looked for anybody for the last couple of days. Picking Lewis up was a godsend, to be honest, because it's just given me that bit of breathing space to sort of enjoy some time in Sydney, but, you know, it is a 10 hour drive to Melbourne. So I still have got a long way to go, and then I've got to go on to Adelaide from there. But today I just wanted to chill out, like see Gaz, I've not seen him for ages, see Lewis off to the airport and get an early night so I can just like recharge the batteries ready for Melbourne. However, but Josh has kindly invited me and Gaz on a night out with him tonight. Gaz, do you fancy it? I've never been, but they have pool parties on a Thursday. They have right? pool parties on a Thursday? Yep. A, a nightclub has a pool party? Rooftop pool, pool party, like. We're definitely going to this. To give you an update on the backpackers page on Facebook that I was trying to get people to come to Melbourne, the guy hasn't come back to me, okay. but the girl has come back to me, yeah. and she's asked when I'm looking to go down. I think but, she wanted to go on Wednesday. Yeah, she said Wednesday, but she said, when am I looking to go down? So I just said, like, sooner rather than later. And I've just said, you know, when are you hoping to go down? Hoping she'll see earlier than Wednesday. But he's not come back to me yet. Okay. So fingers crossed he'll come back, because he wanted to go Sunday, didn't he? Yeah, he did. We'll see. Right, let's enjoy this walk to Bondi. And we have made it to Bondi Beach. This is it. Why is Bondi Beach special? I don't know. Don't you know? No idea. I was just saying, don't get me wrong, it's an amazing beach, but it's no different to any other beach that I've seen in Australia. What do you think, Lou? So I would say Byron Bay is more like Venice Beach. If you yeah. Think. And this is more like Santa Monica. The more I think about it, I'd say Byron Bay is at least twice the size, if yeah. not bigger, because you can just walk, keep yeah. walking down. It is a good beach, don't get me wrong, but personally, I don't think it's any different to any other beach in Australia. You know, they're all nice in Australia. I just wouldn't say this one's anything special. There's how many beaches? 11,000. 11,000 beaches in Australia? If you visit a beach every day, it'd take you 29 years. You're joking, really? Yeah. There's not much here though, to be honest. Other than the ice rink, I think you've got some like food places over there. You've obviously got to come here though if you go to Sydney. It's like the to-do thing. Let's not forget the big wheel. That's a must. It has come to that time. It's time that Lewis is leaving us, mate. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye, Australia. Goodbye. Mate, you are no longer a stranger, you're a friend. Thanks for everything. Mate, thank, yeah. thank me. Thank yeah. me, thank you. On a serious though, though, mate, thank you. Like, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, like. Yeah. This is yeah. it! Bye-bye! Mate. Safe flight. Yeah, no worries. Keep in so. touch, mate. Yeah, thank thanks. you so much, yeah, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Definitely, I'll keep in touch, yeah. Have a good one, mate. Yeah, take care. Look after yourself. Yeah. I'll catch up with you soon. See you later, mate. Mate, he was a top, top guy. I'm gonna miss him. I tell you what, though, Lewis leaving's a bit of a reality check that, you know, this ain't a holiday. I definitely need to put some work in and find someone else tomorrow. Right, well, I'm in Bondi Beach. I'm just gonna go into this place here, get some work done, and then we're gonna head over to Josh's for this night out. Is that the taxi there? I think so. Oh yeah, this is Steve, by the way. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to Sydney. We haven't seen each other for like five years. It's been about that, mate. Good he now lives them. in Sydney. Gaz, is this the Uber? I, I guess. I, I think We've started drinking already. This hey, is not good. Uber for Gareth. 
Where are we going? We're going to Josh's house. While we're in the taxi on our way into Sydney, let's do a quick Instagram live. I don't know if the connection's any good though, that's the only problem. Go Simone, on. how are you? Right, let's get someone in. Hey, how's it going, mate? How are you? Sorry, mate, we're just in a taxi at the minute, so I'm not sure if the signal's any good your end. Oh, it's not too bad. Lincoln's got a shite in there anyway. So mate, worry. it can't be worse than Australia, let me tell you. Us three, we work for a charity. My boss is going to be walking from the capital of Tegucigalpa in Honduras to back to Guatemala. That's awesome. Good luck. So, how's your trip going in Australia? Yeah, it's going good, mate. I'm going to try and, like, sort of get my head back on it and try and get to Melbourne, like, in the next few days, to be honest. Would you say this trip is harder than the American one? 100% mate. Trying to find a stranger is a nightmare. Right, we've just arrived mate. I'm gonna have to shoot. See you later. See you later mate. Bye. Cheers mate. Thanks very much. Josh lives here. We'll give him a knock. Should I just go in? I can't just go open the door. You do what you want, mate. I thought you knew this guy. Mate, I only met him yesterday. I can't be opening his front door. Just right, we're going in. We're going in. Hey, how's it going? Hey mate. Resident bartender. Yeah, Have you got any whiskey? Yeah, yeah. That's whiskey. Yeah. Mate, that's whiskey. Yeah. It actually has real gold inside. This of has it. got real gold in it. Yes. It's from the US. It's a blend. If you don't mind me asking, was it expensive? Not too bad. What's not too bad? <laughs> Under 200 a bottle. Ah, okay. So, yeah. so, so expensive. <laughs> right, I'm going to change out my trackies and put some jeans on because I can't go to a nightclub in a pair of trackies. I wonder how this night will go. I really, really hope I haven't got a hangover in the morning. Annie.